I created a new preset pack and I absolutely love this one because it's gonna make your life so much easier when you're doing text effects, specifically subtitles. And it's just chef's kiss. There's also a free sample, so you can try it before you buy it. Let's check it out. So I wanna show you how fast this is before we dive into all the details. I have two social clips right here that I auto-generated the captions through Premiere. And all I have to do is highlight all the captions that I want and then I can just apply a preset and then let's go to the next one. And then let's just apply a different preset. The people in the background are like, what the heck? Like, how, how did he just do that? And like to you, like that's easy. Like you can do that in your sleep, right? With our relationship, like anytime we do the same thing, like yeah. it could be something new. Mind blown. It is so fast and that's what I love about it because it's simple as a drag and drop and you'll have animations within seconds on all your text layers that is seamless. So in today's video, we're gonna cover everything you need to know about this pack, but click that link in the description down below and that'll bring you to the launch page where you can read all about this pack and see what's inside and kind of get a feel for it. And you can also download a free sample as well. After downloading, all you have to do is right click and extract all of those files and then head on into Premiere under the effects tab and right click on presets, import presets, and then click your extracted preset file. Click open. As soon as you do that, you'll see that we have now under Kyler Holland Presets, Subtitles V2. And if you start opening these up, you'll see that there is a ton of presets in here and they all do a ton of things. So let's kind of show you and break down what this does. For starters, let's just create a text layer. And I'm going to center that, TT all caps, and just put that in the center of my screen. Let's make this text not too long so it's just nice and quick, just so we can see what these animations do. This is the basic process. You have a text layer and you want to apply an animation to it. All of these are click and drag. So favorite combos, basically my favorite combinations of a ton of these effects, because that's the main selling point of this pack. You can apply one effect, like this bounce down effect, right here. And then you can also stack that with another effect like a 3D flip backwards. You can stack as many as you want and then that will give you that seamless text. So I highly recommend playing around and honestly adding as many effects or as many transitions that you want because you will get a custom um, animation per se. With that said, as soon as you start applying a ton of these effects, you might be like, oh, well, I have to like, go to the effects controls and I have to manually delete all of these um, effects? Well, no. So Premiere has a cool feature. You can right click and go to remove attributes. And as soon as you click okay, that will put your text layer back to normal. I've actually mapped this to my three key. So when I click three, it'll bring that up. So I can just click that and then it instantly removes it. In order to do that, just go to edit and then keyboard shortcuts and then click on three and then type in remove attributes and then just drag that up to three right there. That'll set that as the shortcut. So what I like to do for starters is just kind of get a feel for the pack. So I'm just gonna make a ton of different text layers right here, like and subscribe. And these texts aren't the same length. So that's the fun thing about this pack. As soon as you drag on transitions and stuff, it will actually scale to the length of your text layer. So if I just drag it on that middle one, you'll see that it scales out here. And then if I drag this onto the last one, it'll scale up for that entire duration. So it's short and punchy. You can just highlight all of your text layers and drag on any animation you want. And then just like that, please like and subscribe. All of these transitions are fairly seamless. So you won't be able to tell when it's transitioning because of the motion and the blur that I've added as well. With my new keyboard shortcut that I created, I'm just gonna remove all those attributes and I am good to go with some more. Let's explain how the pack actually works. We have three layers to it. There's transitions, there's effects, and there's color. So the transitions in the general sense are all of my favorite combos. You have 3D, you have bounce, you have scale, and you have slide. They are as expected. When you open the scale, you'll see that we have scale constant down, scale down, scale height down, and you'll also see these plus signs. This denotes how strong that is. So for example, if I drag scale down to all of my layers, you'll see that it's just scaling down. There's no other animations, it's scaling down, it's pretty subtle, 
just like so. But now if I undo that and drag on scale down plus plus plus, you'll see that it's a little more aggressive and more punchy. So that kind of just denotes how strong the effects are going to be. There's a ton of different effects in here. Some of my favorite ones are actually these bounce down things. And you'll see that one says bounce down. You can drag that on and you'll see it like bounces the text down and then into the next one. And then you also see we have a bounce down height. You might be wondering, what does height do? Well, height actually also adjust the height of the text. So it kind of squeezes it a little bit more. And sometimes this can make for a better transition. What I recommend is kind of just playing around with this pack and then just start dragging things on, undoing it just to see what it does. So you have like slide downs plus plus plus. This will basically make the text slide in and out. The blur version of that adds a little motion blur and blurring to the text layer. So it creates a little bit more of a seamless transition. And if you don't feel like going through all this stuff, you can just put on some of my favorite combos. Like combo 11 is like a slide punchy thing. Combo 10 looks like this. It kind of flips and rotates back. Combo nine does that, like it squeezes together. Combo eight kind of like stretches it out a little bit. Combo seven kind of brings it up and like almost like it has a little motion to it. So play around because there's a ton of these animations in here and I love it. Two more things. So there's this effects group. So under the effects, you'll see we have a ton of different options right here. As you can see, our text look like this right now. But if we drag on RGB purple plus plus, you'll see that it actually starts to animate the edges of this with a little purple RGB. So all you have to do is start dragging some of these effects down. So example, if we bring in shake one, you'll see that it kind of shakes the text a little bit more. So it has motion to it. And if we bring on a glow, you'll see that it actually adds a little glow to our text and feel free. You don't actually have to bring this into all of your text layers. So if I just want the glow on like, and then also subscribe, all I have to do is that. And then it adds that glow onto those clips right there. So play around with these because there's a ton of those effects. And then finally, there's also color effects. So if you want to add color, you can also do that as well. And there's a ton in here and it just makes it seamless. So when you have your animations, adding a little bit of color will make your text pop a little bit more. If you'd like to see a detailed view of how I actually created this pack and so much more, then consider becoming a YouTube member and you'll instantly get access to a ton of great perks, including the behind the scenes of how I made this preset pack. Now let's show you how to actually create captions within Premiere Pro, upgrade those captions and apply these presets to that caption track that we just made. All right, so we have a clip here that I want to attach captions to and animate those captions, but I don't have anything in the timeline currently. How'd you come up with these names right here? So you just wanna... All you need to do first is actually create the captions itself. So head on over to the text tab. If you don't see that, go to window and then down to text. And then you probably will see something that says transcribe clip because it's not there, but you can also go up to edit preferences and then transcription and then change some of these settings to automatically transcribe clips. And I have it set to only in the sequence. So that means every time I drag this in, it's automatically gonna do this for me. Then you can give a quick read through right here and see if there's any errors. You can fix those right here, but I tend to do it on at a later point because I think it works better. Like this lot right here needs to be LUT. So I'm gonna leave that and show you how I change that. Just click CC and then we're gonna not worry about any of these settings. And I like to drag all of these sliders to the left. This will give me the quickest possible scenario and then change the lines to single. But you can play around with this and change it to like 20 to get like three or four words on a line at a time. Drag it to the left, click single, create captions. Now all you have to do is highlight all of the subtitles in your subtitle track and then head on over to Essential Graphics and then start changing the font. So I'm just gonna pick a font that I like. I'm going to click TT so it's all caps and then I'm gonna start scaling this up. So let's say somewhere around 95 works for me. This is extremely important, but make sure you click your zone in the center. This is going to be best. We can change the position later, but for the sake of all these presets, you always need to have it to the center, otherwise it will not work properly. So once you have that set, what I like to do is actually go back to my text and kind of scroll through here and see if there's any long ones. Because if I click on this long one, you'll see that it's actually broken up into two um, lines. So there's two things you can do. You can either just decrease your font size on all of it to make sure this is one line, or you can break this up. So I'm going to break it up. All of his LUTs. All of his LUTs. LUTs. 
So I'm gonna click C on my keyboard and then just simply break that right there. And now I can see I have two all of his LUTs. The first one, it, and it's also spelled wrong. So this is how I changed it. All I have to do is double click in there on the first one, all of his, and then remove that. And then this one, I'm gonna just type in LUTs, right? So now it looks like that. Name all of his LUTs. <laughs> and this is what I recommend is once you create your uh, text, then you can just edit them right here if there's any typos or anything like that. And then just highlight all your subtitles, go to graphics and titles, and then upgrade caption to graphic. And all you have to do is highlight all of your text layers and then pick any preset that you want. Let's do scale constant punch up and see what that looks like. How'd you come up with these names right here? So you just went on Google. That looks great. And then let's stack this. So let's also put a bounce down plus, 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 plus. How'd you come up with these names right here? So you just went on Google and typed up uh, unique baby names. <laughs> this man Googled <laughs> unique baby names to name all of his life. That looks incredible and it's pretty awesome. So if you want to customize this further, just click on any one of these layers and then head on to the effects controls. Do not do anything within the graphics up here at the top. Simply go down to video and now we can manipulate this even further. So you can adjust the size, you can adjust the position, because when you do that, it won't actually ruin the animation. And then once you get something that you are happy with, all you have to do is click on that motion and copy that and then paste that to everything. It sounds like a lot, but it's really not. And then we have a larger scale and it fills up the whole frame. If you want to change the animations you have on there, simply highlight all your text layers and go to remove attributes and then deselect all of these things and remove your transform. And now we can change the animation on it. Let's show you one final example right here. And then just go to transcript under text and then just read through that, make sure it's all looking good. And then click create captions, drag these to the left, drag this to the left, and then change it to single and then click create captions. And let's highlight all of our subtitles, go to essential graphics, again, change our text that we want. And you can also create text style. So this is faster, TTL caps, zone in the middle, increase our scale a little bit, go back to text and just read through here and see if there's any long ones to make sure it's all in one line. Everything looks good. Highlight our subtitles, graphics and titles, upgrade caption to graphic, highlight all of our graphics right here. And let's do preset combo six and check that out. Cause it's really not about the gear. And that's what everyone says as our setups are like looking like this, <laughs> like your setups looking awesome, but we've built this over time. Let's say I want to move the position down. Just click on any one of your layers and go to effects controls, scroll down till you get under video and then change this position. So let's just say I want to move it there and then click on motion under video, copy that by control C or command C on Mac, highlight all your text layers and paste. That will allow you to move that. Cause it's really not. And our captions are now animated and down on the bottom. And if you wanna change the animation, just click remove attributes and then uncheck all of these top ones so it doesn't move our position and then click okay and then drag on a different animation. And that's pretty much it. I know it sounds like a lot and it's kind of crazy, but once you get the hang of captions and creating your own styles like that, the process becomes faster and faster. Like if I needed to, I can make a social video within two minutes, full animation, text, colors, all that stuff, but play around because every single effect in this pack stacks on top of each other. I'm excited to see what you guys make because I love when you send me stuff, but as always, if you like this video and you want me to create some more stuff in the future, click that like button and subscribe because I'll be making some more stuff later.